Hey everybody, Groza here. 324 is right around the corner. All waves are currently open in the PTU. Everybody's super hyped about these upcoming hauling missions and freight elevators. But I haven't seen a ton of people really talk about regular old trade uh, using the f uh, freight elevators um, and just buying and selling goods. So my intention here is to do about a just under 10 minute demonstration on just kind of how that looks now that we have freight elevators and physicalized cargo. So the plan is that we're gonna do a regular old gold run from Microtech to Arc Corp. So we're gonna head uh, in our MSR to Shubin Mining SM0-18. First thing you're gonna notice as you approach the mining facility is that there's three new structures here. Those are the freight elevators. Two on the big landing pad, one on the little landing pad. We're landing for some reason on the little landing pad, which is the farthest away from the trading terminal. Can't explain that. Uh, couple little things that I always think about is that uh, you want to land, this seems kind of obvious, but you want to land in a way that your cargo bay can reasonably easily access the freight elevator so you're not running around too much with these boxes flying through the air. Um, the other thing you want to think about is you got to think about what ship you're bringing because that you need to, you need to tell the terminal what size boxes to purchase. Um, here you see me just sending the freight elevator down. Um, but yeah, you're, you're going to need to, you need to tell the trade terminal what size SCU crates you want to buy. So um, you don't want to end up buying obviously 32 size crates for the MSR because while they can still fit on them, they aren't going to lock the grid. The MSR, as since we're using that as an example, can handle three 24 SCU size and then nine four SCU size because it's three high, but it's 12 deep. Um, so that's what I am going to use. Thank you to Marauder for that handy uh, graphic. He actually did one of those for every single ship that has a cargo grid. So that's quite something. So uh, you used to always select the, uh, your actual ship as the destination, right? That's not actually what you do anymore. This is just trying to show you that. Now you're purchasing the cargo to be stored at the warehouse at this facility. That's what the interface looks like once you select the facility as your destination. There you see me selecting the 24 size, uh, the 24 SCU size crates, and I'm selecting to purchase three of them. Uh, you kind of want to actually pay attention during this part because if you select the wrong thing, it's going to impact your quality of life while you try to manually load all the cargo. So I got 24, three of the 24s, then you'll see me select the fours. Uh, you'll then see me attempting to do visualize the cargo grid in my head and do the math in my head here. And I nearly purchased way too many. <laughs> and luckily at the last second I realized, hold on a sec, those size fours should not cost the same as those 324s. So getting the correct ones there. Um, so you'll get those purchased and then uh, you will head back to your ship and the freight elevator and then we'll begin the process of manually loading up the cargo hold of the ship. I always load all the mining facilities so that's why we have this extra little uh, situation happening. I'm a hoarder, what can I say? So. You approach your freight elevator screen, you're making sure you can see it clearly by pressing Alt X to wipe your visor. And here's where you tell it what SCU boxes to bring up from the warehouse. For some reason it doesn't, can't figure out how to stack them just quite yet here. So it's uh, having me bring up the three 24 sizes first. There's our beautiful gold and the freight elevator. Here you see me loading this baby up. You know, I will say, I'm just sitting here with my cargo bay open with, you know, relatively expensive cargo. Oh, oh, yikes. Hopefully I can buff that out. With relatively expensive, you know, big boxes of gold here. Um, you'll actually see me, I hear the wind blows in a certain way, and you'll see me look up to the sky because all of a sudden I, I realize this. I'm like, you know, if people wanted to just swoop on down and make my life a little bit difficult, they really have the ability to do that. So well, that is one thing to keep in mind is that you probably do want some, uh, probably do want some friends with you or just know that you're running the risk. So you send the freight elevator back down. That way you can load up the next round of cargo on it. Those are going to be those nine 
uh, boxes of the four SCU size boxes. So those are coming up and we will very carefully load those up on top of the 24s. Love how dramatic the ship is with all the sparks flying around. it is in all of its lovely glory a full MSR well almost full I didn't hide up I didn't uh, fill up the secret area over there so we're gonna scoot on off here head back to uh, our corp and land at area 18 and uh, we'll get her sold uh, the one thing I did want to say the other thing about you know the MSR could hold size 32 crates right if they won't snap to the grid and they'll be bouncing around there a little bit but it could hold it but uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when you request landing at a station or a city, as long as the, assuming the city's not your home city, it's going to assign to you a hangar size relative to the ship you're flying. So here we are arriving at Area 18, and you'll see this here in just a sec. When I get close enough to request landing, it's going to give me a medium size hangar for the MSR. A medium size hangar the freight elevator cannot accommodate the 32 SCU box. So if you did load this baby up with 32 size boxes, you're going to have to store the ship, leave the hangar, go to the ASAP terminal, summon a large ship, which is going to get you into a large hangar, go to the large hangar, store the large ship, recall the MSR in order to get those 32 size crates onto a freight elevator that can actually accommodate them. I, it's sort of insane that I just said that, that, so that I just articulated that. It's kind of a ridiculous workaround, but that is the workaround to that issue if you do run into that. Uh, you can't just sell from your ship, at least I'm pretty sure you can't just sell from your ship. So um, you gotta unload your haul here onto the freight elevator and then send the old freight elevator down. That way the cargo now exists in the warehouse of the place you're at. So that's what you see me doing here. For whatever reason, I decided to make sure they all look very neat. And then I'm gonna send down the four, uh, the size, or the, the four SCU size containers first, uh, basically the reverse order that I loaded it. And then I'll put the 24 size boxes onto the freight elevator and send those down next. It's the PTU, what can I say? Sometimes you gotta Put a little extra effort in to stack your boxes, eh? Alright, so now we have manually unloaded the MSR. We've put everything onto the freight elevators. We've sent the freight elevators down. Our warehouse or our local inventory or the warehouse inventory now has that... What is that? 24 times 372 plus... 36, 108 SCU of gold. So we make our way to the trade and development division building, the TDD at the Art Corp Plaza. We're not selecting our ship anymore. Like we noticed, we're selecting area 18 because that's where our goods are. Um, when I tried to select them all at once, it wouldn't work. So I'm doing them individually one by one. First the fours, then the 24s. We sell them. And that is how you manually load, manually deliver, and execute a full trade route in 3.24. If you found this helpful, please do that thing YouTube loves, which is like and shoot me a sub if you're so willing to do so. And enjoy trading and everything else that's coming in 3.24 and beyond.